As we continue to remain safe in these days of COVID, I can't help but to use the opportunity to sit with you and speak with you about uh, peace. And I'm honored to be in your presence because you are somebody who embodies what the UN works for. The UN has as one of its major pillars, peace as a priority. And we know that there can be no democracy, there can be no development without peace. And so one of the tools the UN uses uh, to promote peace besides our programming is the peacekeeping uh, division, the, the work of peacekeeping missions around the world. And you have participated in peacekeeping mission before. So I would like to just get your name and just hear a little bit about you and where you served in peacekeeping. Uh, thank you, ma'am. First of all, I'm very much privileged to be here uh, to talk about peace. Uh, my name is Major Bina Adhikari. Uh, I'm serving the police army for like last uh, last 17 years. Uh, pertaining to peacekeeping missions, uh, I have served United Nations mission in South Sudan twice. Uh, in 2014 as a civic officer, uh, as a part of TCC, and recently in 2020-21 uh, as a mission support center's staff officer, logistic operations in the same place. And, and tell me about it. I've seen peacekeepers in action in my work. And um, I've shared it very openly that my community, my home community, is a, it has been a beneficiary of peacekeepers. And the Pali peacekeepers serve my community in, in, in Liberia. But tell me for you, as a female uh, peacekeeper, when you arrived day one and you all had to set up, tell me some of the experiences you had. Uh, moreover, it was like, just going to a new place um, in a multicultural environment and adjusting yourself, it needs them some time, for sure. For me, when I, uh, for the first time when I went to the mission area, the best thing was, before going there, Nepalese army, what we do is like, we are trained. We are given the knowledge mission, about the mission environment, how it is there. So it's easier for us to adjust ourselves in the mission area with the prior information of that um, uh, uh, crisis or whatever there is, all the issues, those information are already shared. So it was not that easy, but was better than it could have been because of the prior knowledge and information. You know, we who work in development, um, we know that everything we do, there needs to be a link between peace and humanitarian and development because if you don't have a link, Right. If a humanita humanitarian situation arises, you're not prepared. And in everything we do, we should be promoting peace. And I just, I'm curious to know, um, in all your experiences that you had in South Sudan, you went to South Sudan twice. Yes, ma'am. What would be your advice uh, for conflict prevention, preventing conflict? Uh, uh, first of all, for the prevention of uh, this instability, I would say sensitization must be there and we should be aware and we should make the youths of that place aware because I believe they are the most important demographic in the host nations and they do have all the informations of their communities. So uh, particularly in terms of unmiss, I would say that it's a conflict within the state. So if I go for that example, I would say for the prevention we always should, first of all, look at ourselves. We should have peace within, among ourselves. Until and unless we are stabilized, how can, I, how can we stabilize others? And I think you struck a very important point about the youth and the knowledge of the youth, the local experience of the youth, the agility, the flexibility of the youth, and the creativity, uh, just the mindset of youth. Um, it's, an, it's an important demographic that we can never ignore in talking about promoting peace. You've worn the blue helmet before. Right. Um, as a UN official, I, I know it's, it's a period of pride and joy when you're representing the world. Um, when you go under the blue helmet as a UN peacekeeper, you're there on behalf of all the member states to help to maintain peace. With all the experiences that you've had and all the lessons that you've learned, what would be the message you would give to the world today about peace? Uh, to the world about the peace is like since I have been working under the blue helmet for the noble cause of peace, I would say a disciplined mind only brings peace. 
So to bring peace, we need to be united first. Until and unless we are united, we cannot bring peace. So let's put our hands together, let's seek the peace, and let the peace be prevailed in the world the way it is. It will be a better world with peace. And so on behalf of the major, the respected major and myself, we wish you a very wonderful International Peace Day. May there be peace in your homes, in your families, in your communities, in, in all nations of the world. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.